Yesterday we had an amazing time wandering around Tirana, taking in all the history and the culture. Today we're going to explore even more of the city, just this time through food. <laughs> Our favourite way. <laughs> We've been told there are some districts here that we absolutely must go to, so we're going to hit those up and try lots of traditional Albanian food and drink, and some Albanian food which has more of a modern twist. First we're going to do what the locals do for breakfast and head to a bakery. You have your prosciutto? Yes, prosciutto. Ni prosciutto ni me gis. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Oh, these look amazing and they are, oh yeah, we got buruk by the way, a traditional Albanian pastry. You may have seen us try it in Montenegro because it's also traditional there, but these are fresh out of the oven. She literally just made them. I'm so excited. Burek is a traditional Albanian pastry. It's thin layers of crispy phyllo pastry. You can get it with loads of different fillings. Some of the more traditional ones are things like meats, spinach, potatoes and cheese. I've got mine with prosciutto. Mm. Oh wow! Mm. So it turns out there's also cheese in this, which is a perfect addition. <laughs> mm. After actually having a bite, I realised that I'm actually eating Izzy's. Sorry. <laughs> this is the one with cheese, it turns out. The pastry is really, really crispy on the outside, but then it's really light and fluffy on the inside, which is a great combination. And the cheese is a sort of cottage cheese, and it's really, really good. Mm. This looks great but a little bit different from the burek that I've tried before in Montenegro or seen pictures of. It basically looks like a naan or pita bread, but it definitely has prosciutto in there. So I'm going to try it. Mm. The thing I love the most about this is that the meat has loads of flavour to it. They've obviously coated it in some kind of spices because you get a kick, which is really good. And I was wrong in saying that this is pita or naan bread because it is definitely still pastry, but it's more like a bready pastry. But it's really buttery and flaky, so it's really good. I think you'll really enjoy this one. So do I, that's why I bought it. <laughs> you ate mine. Mine? Mine? You're so far away. <laughs> <laughs> We've shown you what we're eating, but we haven't shown you where we're eating it. <laughs> we're in Skandenberg Square which if you watched our previous video is where we came yesterday. You've seen it lit up at night. This is what it looks like during the day. Do you feel cool now? I feel refreshed. <laughs> Next we've come to a pedestrianised shopping street, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of, but we'll put it here. As well as having a massive shopping centre, it's also lined with lots of bars, cafes and restaurants. So we're going to do something that Albanians do a lot of, partake in cafe culture, which means coffee. culture is exactly what it sounds like sitting at a cafe and drinking coffee it's something that seems to be really popular with the locals here in Tirana there are loads and loads of cafes and people sit at them during the week in the evenings and also of course at the weekend now it's our turn what do you do when you're drinking your coffee watch the people go by chat to your friends or should we play some cards? We've had a great time chilling out at the cafe and playing cards. If you want to know who won, by the way, it was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now we're heading for some traditional Albanian food for dinner. This 
this area is called the New Bazaar, which, despite its name, is actually the oldest part of the city. During the day, there's a huge market where all of the locals get their produce from. It's getting towards the evening now, so most of the stores are closed, but this is the time when all of the cafes and bars come alive, and one of those is where we're heading for dinner. We've come to a restaurant called Oda, which is tucked down a little side street. To be honest, I thought it was going to be really busy and really expensive here because it's the place that all of the blogs recommend you come to try traditional Albanian food. But it's actually really peaceful here and really cheap. Some of our food has arrived and I can already tell that we've ordered way too much. <laughs> We've gone for lakro, which is a traditional Albanian pie. Ours comes with spinach inside. And we did like a half and half thing where we've got a bell pepper stuffed with rice. And I think it's a uh, eggplant stuffed with vegetables, which looks really good. We've also got something coming that we're really looking forward to trying, but we're also a little bit nervous about. I don't know how I feel about this. The first thing that I'm going to try is the bell pepper, which is stuffed with rice. Mmm! Oh, that's really good. You get the sweetness of the bell pepper, but then there's also loads of spices in with the rice. Mmm! It's a really nice contrast between the two. Mm. Next, I'm going to try the lacro, which is the spinach pie. It looks really similar to the barek that we had earlier on this afternoon. It tastes really similar to the product we had earlier as well. <laughs> I'm trying something that was my pick, which is eggplant stuffed with vegetables. Oh, that's really good. It's essentially a whole eggplant stuffed with mixed vegetables, including peppers and onion and lots of spices. The final dish we ordered has just arrived and it's the one that we were a little bit nervous about. It's a whole lamb's head. <laughs> I don't really know how to eat this, but I guess I'm going to pick some of the meat off. I think I've just picked up the tongue. I've never tried tongue before, so I'm going to try it. Mmm. I think it must be tongue because it's a lot softer and squidgier in texture than lamb normally is. But it's really good. It's not quite mushy, it's more just a very kind of soft, loose texture. And it tastes the same as goat, to be honest. Wait, goat? It's lamb. It tastes the same as lamb. <laughs> what am I eating again? I have to psych myself up for this because I didn't realise that I was going to be trying brain for the first time tonight. <laughs> Are you ready? Why are you asking if I'm ready? You're the one eating brain. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh my god, that is absolutely not what I expected from Brain. Like, it's really mushy, like the texture you'd kind of expect. Basically think if you put a lamb in a blender, that's the kind of texture it is. But the flavour, I don't know what kind of flavour I was expecting, but it tastes like lamb. I don't know if that's really dumb of me to have assumed that Brain would have a different taste to lamb. Probably because in the UK, like, we're not used to eating all parts of the animal, we just eat the meat. I would eat brain again. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if Izzy's reaction has made me more nervous or calmed me down. But either way, here we go. Hmm. Lamb in a blender, definitely get that. <laughs> I see what you mean about the flavour though. I don't know how to describe it. I can't remember ever consuming the brain of another living thing before. I don't think I'm ever going to forget it. <laughs> the final place we've come to is called Ish Bloku, which translates to Old Block. During the communist era, it's where all of the elite people used to live, but now it hosts a vibrant nightlife. So, the place we're going to is a cocktail bar called Radio Bar. 
This place takes traditional alcohols and mixes them in a new and modern way and it was also one of the original bars that opened up in the 1990s when Albania was freed from communist rule. All four of the cocktails we're trying this evening are made with rakia, which is a traditional Albanian spirit. What I've got first is essentially an Albanian version of a mojito. <laughs> it comes with rakia, lime, mint, sugar, and it's topped with sparkling water. Wow. So the ratio of rakia to anything else is very high. <laughs> I've gone for a Vulcan Collins because I love gin. And speaking of gin, this one doesn't actually contain rakia, but it does contain Albanian gin, which I've not tried before. The other components are lemon juice, blueberry jam, and soda water. It looks pretty. I love the little dried fruit on top. <laughs> That's good. Like you said, it's quite strong, but the ratios are, are really right. Like, I used to, I spent a long time working as a cocktail bartender and I don't think I could make this at all. It's really good. Time for round number two. I've gone for a rackberry, which is blackberry rackia topped with lime, raspberries, blackberries, and what am I drinking? Soda water. Soda water. <laughs> okay, that is by far the sweetest cocktail I have ever had. <laughs> if you are like me and you prefer sweet alcohol, this is very much gonna be your thing. I prefer my cocktails a little less on the sweet side, so I've gone for a Kai Piraki. <laughs> it's great raki with fig jam, lime and sparkling water, and a candied fig on top. I really like figs, so I'm really looking forward to trying my first ever cocktail with fig in it. That's a bit of me. Uh, it's not too sweet, you really get the lime coming through and it's more the natural flavour of the fig rather than overly sugary. Mm, I'm gonna try the candied fig, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I've never even had like candied fig before. Oh my god. If you've ever had a glass of cherry, it's this is that, but a fig. We're going to end the vlog here and sit and enjoy our cocktails. We've had an amazing time exploring Tirana through all of the local food and drinks. If you like watching us explore a country through food, give this video a like so we know to make more videos similar to this. <laughs> Tomorrow we're heading out into the Albanian mountains for our next adventure, so we'll see you tomorrow. It's really small in here. Not sure I'd like to live here in a new tea and This is brain food. <laughs> <laughs> will, I, will, I, will I get smart now? <laughs>